What's up everybody, this is Rick from Tack Hill, and today my friends we're going to be looking at a knife that was sent to me by a friend. Uh, this knife comes from Dave Mize, Mize Custom Works. Um, a friend bought this for me and sent it to me. Um, Dave Mize channel is KY Knife Man 1. Um, he is an excellent knife maker. I've wanted one of his knives for a very, very long time. Um, he just does amazing work. Here's the knife that was sent to me. Uh, gorgeous, gorgeous blade. This is 01 tool steel. It's got ram's horn scales on it. It's got linen micarta bolsters. Cinnamon cover, colored liners. Uh, loveless bolts. This knife is gorgeous. I believe this is a saber grind that is on it. You can see here. See if we can get that in the light right. There we go. My is KY USA. It has a amazing leather sheath. The leather sheath is top notch quality. And you can see here. Let's see if we can get that in the light right. There we go. My is KY USA. This knife is gorgeous, guys. It is as sharp as a razor, and I want to thank you very much to the friend that sent me this. Uh, it is a gift I will cherish for always and ever. Uh, I love it. I love it. it feels excellent in your hand. Uh, just, just an all-around amazing knife. Amazing knife. Uh, if you don't know Dave Mize, get over there and check him out. He is an amazing knife maker. Like I said, it's KY Knife Man One, all one word. Uh, great guy, great knife maker, fantastic leather work as well. Uh, the overall length on this from what I'm measuring is right around 9 inches with uh, about a 4 and a quarter inch blade. The sheath almost encompasses the entire knife, so that's really nice. It has excellent retention. Uh, just an just all round amazing knife. Uh, give me just a second and we'll get a piece of fat wood and uh, chop her up real quick and see how she how she slices and dices. All right, my friends, we are back. Um, here I have a piece of fat wood that was given to me by Heath Schroeder. Uh, another great channel you should check out. Uh, really awesome dude, good friend. And uh, he found this out in the Arizona desert. So we'll go ahead and cut into this a little bit and see how she does. I can tell you already from how sharp this knife is, uh, it will go through it very, very easily. But let's find out. Look at that. Right from the get-go. Just excellent. And this fat wood right here, really good fat wood, I'll tell you. It smells pretty good. Let's see if we can get some of that dark vein. Look at that. Here, let's get let's get up by the camera real quick. Look at that dark vein. Look at it just go through it like butter. That's some good fat wood right there too. Let's go ahead and pop that off. Now, I'm not striking a ferro rod with this knife, uh, just because how beautiful it is. I don't want to uh, to stain the blade in any way, so not gonna do that. I'll just use a striker, and you can see here we got a little bit of fat wood in there. Not a whole lot, but enough to get your fire going. Let's go ahead and try and spark her up. Oh, and it smells good too. There we go, guys. Sizzling up real nice.
super awesome. Gotta have that morning coffee. All right, so I, I do want to thank the friend that, that gave me this knife. Uh, thank you very much for it. I will cherish it and love it forever. And uh, thank you to Dave Mice for creating such a fantastic knife. And uh, your work is amazing, man. I begin to get at a loss for words at how awesome of a knife maker you are. And uh, like I said, you know, I've been a fan of his knives for a long time, ever since I found out about him. Uh, just an incredible knife maker. And uh, this knife will definitely go among my favorite knives that I've ever had. All right, everybody, this is Rick from Tech Hill. Hope you guys are having a great day. Remember, my friends, in order to thrive, you need to strive to survive. And I'll see you later.